Good afternoon, everybody. The Pentagon holding a news briefing Thursday, just hours after it released a declassified video showing the Russian military jet intercept of a U.S. drone. American defense officials say the footage has been edited for length, but includes the sequence of events that played out earlier this week and led to the unmanned drone crashing into the Black Sea. It's not unusual for us to release imagery uh, of unsafe, unprofessional incidents. We've done that in other situations. Uh, and so particularly in this case, uh, given the reckless and dangerous behavior and to demonstrate uh, publicly uh, uh, what type of actions the Russians had taken, we felt that it was important to provide this imagery. Russia has denied any mid-air collision took place, saying the drone went down after making sharp maneuvers. The Pentagon, though, says the roughly 40-second video shows the Russian aircraft dumping fuel near the drone before the recording is disrupted when the Russian fighter jet collides with the drone, damaging its propeller. The Kremlin has said the encounter showed Washington was directly participating in the Ukraine war. As for the potential for further escalation, the White House insists. We do not seek armed conflict with Russia, uh, and so I'll leave it there. New from a U.N. inquiry Thursday, it's out with a report that says Russia has committed wide-ranging war crimes in Ukraine, like willful killings and the deportation of children. And the use of torture by Russian authorities may amount to crimes against humanity. Russia denies committing atrocities or targeting civilians in Ukraine. As the more than year-long invasion grinds on, Ukraine is set to add a new key tool to its arsenal. The Polish president announcing Thursday his country is sending Ukraine four fighter jets in the coming days, making Poland the first of Ukraine's allies to provide such aircraft. Melissa Duggan, City News.